Um, uh, Powell, uh, I think it's going to be described as a con contusion in the left left arm. I think the X-rays were negative, so we'll see how he feels tomorrow and the next day. Um, but he played a uh, massively important role in this game. I mean, uh, you look at his stat line; it's phenomenal. You know, nine for nine from the floor, hit two threes at, at big moments. Um, and just, you know, I was doing dirty work all night trying to guard towns and, uh, and dealing with their, their drivers in the lane. So he was, uh, he was tremendous. Um, Kleber's shot making in the fourth was huge. Um, and obviously, you know, um, the game that Brunson uh, had was, uh, was a difference maker. You know, we were, we were just kind of struggling all night um, with the exception of, you know, we got a, 10 or 11 point cushion in the in the second quarter and then it, it was a struggle from then on and we needed a dose of energy and uh, you know Brunson gave us a big one in the second half so uh, you know that was huge and you know second night of a back-to-back -back, you gotta you gotta have a bench that uh, that can perform and these guys did a great job because you have so many players who can close out a game like that who can give you performances like Brunson did does it put a challenge on you as a head coach? No, it doesn't. It's no sorry. challenge at all. To do, well, in the sense that uh, you have to keep I mean, it, it's pretty, it's pretty the, obvious right. who should be playing you know, at that time of the game with the game that he's having. Right. So I don't, what, you're, what are you, what are you yeah, getting at? Yeah, I guess, I guess that was it. Like, like do, you, do you see each game as you go into each game as a you kind of cycle through the play? Yeah, I mean, it could be a different finishing lineup every night. I don't, you know, if you're if you're getting into the hey, what's the finishing lineup and where's the controversy? There is none. Okay, Tim. Um, yeah, no, it's it, it's what, what you're saying is we got a deep roster and it's not a problem. It's great. You know, last night Curry was the guy that kind of got us going, really got us going in the second half. Um, tonight it was Brunson. We were lucky last night that. You know, basically our starters didn't have to play in the fourth other than Dodo did for a, a few minutes to guard Ingram. Um, so, you know, it, it's, I like, you know, we love the team. We love the team. It's a group of guys that's, that's getting closer all the time. Um, you know, our, the, the commitment to defense the last 10 games has been, you know, a real difference maker for us. And we just, you know, we got to continue with it. I like the way Luca kind of fought through what could have been kind of a tough night for him on the physically and all that. Well, you know, every game, regardless of what happens, you know, he, he's a guy that wants to compete. He wants to be out there the whole game. I mean, that's just how he's wired. Um, but when, when he's on the bench, I mean, he is up um, cheering on his teammates, you know, with the best of them. And um, he was really into the game when our, when our second unit got it going early in the fourth. And, you know, we rode those guys for about six plus minutes. And then, uh, you know, Luca went back in there. He called a play to get the ball in Brunson's hands because Brunson was making great things happen. And as, as a result, Luca got a wide open shot and banged it in. And, you know, we, get, we got off to a three for 19 start from three to start the game. And I guess we made seven or seven of our last eight or eight of our last nine or something like that. And, you know, these second nights of back to backs, um, three point shooting, isn't going to be as fluid. Sometimes you just got to hang around and, and keep slugging. And the two that Kleber hit were huge ones in the fourth. With KP playing the second half of back to back, uh, talk about his uh, second half performance having 14 points. It was a little slow in the first half, but just talk about his performance on the whole. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. His first back to back he's played in, you know, close to two years. And so uh, it's a pretty significant milestone. Um, but he, uh, he did a lot of great things. The two plays he made down the stretch in crunch time, you know, the made three, and then the dunk on the putback with, you know, point one thousandth of a second left or whatever it was. I mean, those are huge difference making plays in the game. So we had a, we had a lot of guys that, you know, made huge plays, and uh, you know, it's it's great to see. It's great to see. Coach, the last five games have been a physical challenge. Can you talk about how the guys have responded? A physical challenge. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's a physical league. Um, you know, we got beat up pretty good by the Clippers physically, um, and responded well. 
you know, we watched a little bit of that and, and just talked about how we could be more physical and more persistent. And, you know, some of it is a mindset. And um, so, you know, we, we went into Phoenix and, you know, against, against a very persistent team um, that the Suns have. And, and uh, you know, that was a very f physical, snippy game. And, uh, you know, I just, I just like the way we're, we're fighting through things right now. Jordan Finney-Smith seems to have a knack for offensive rebounds. Is there something specifically that he does when he comes in for a putback or something like that on offensive boards? He's he's got a real gift, um, you know. It's it's something that you know you can you can you can teach guys. You can tell guys you know to crash the boards at certain times and and, and things like that. But you you can't teach the feel and the antici anticipation and the tenacity that he has for going after offensive rebounds. It's really it's really remarkable, and uh, he, he's he's had he's made uncanny plays. You know, all four years he's been here. Um, the putback tonight was a huge play um, in the second half, and he came up with an extra possession one time down the stretch that was a big one as well. And so, you know, those possessions of the of the ball, especially the second night of the back to back, you know, they're really really big. You passed the quarter mark of the season now. What would really? Your, what would your it's flying by? What would your state of the union be right now? Mine? Yeah. Uh, I don't give State of the Unions until <laughs> until the summer. What would your State of the Team be? <laughs> state of the Team? <laughs> McMahon's here, so there must must be some something significant going on. Th thanks for being. Oh, it's home game. <laughs> yeah, look at, we got a good group, you know, um, and it's 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 a group that's that's. You know, really working at coming together and, and finding ways to help each other win games. And you know, we have some some challenging stretches where where things don't go great. You know, we have times when we get distracted, but um, you know, guys are helping each other get through those times. And um, you know, the, the other really important thing is that we've you know we've we've turned it around at home a little bit after a really slow start and we've just got to continue with this we've got a home back to back this weekend which is unique and you know we've got to get our rest tomorrow tomorrow's an off day um friday we got to get get our work in and get our prep done and then you know saturday we got new orleans come back in here and they're and they're a dangerous team with the way they could score the ball and so uh you know that's that's kind of where we are, you know. It, it, it's it, the NBA is is like one event after another, and the events are significant and they're emotional, um, and you know, um, there there's there's a certain element that those events tax you, you know, from a from a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, and you know, right now getting the right amount of rest is really important for our guys, um, and just just being alert and ready. Um, and doing everything possible to keep keep our bodies strong, you know. You know this thing with Powell. I mean, um, you know, I I don't I knowing him, you know, um, if we were a handstand team, he'd probably still want to be in the starting lineup of that, you know, with his with his banged up arm. I mean, that's that's how much he cares about the team and, and cares about winning. So, um, hey, tomorrow's a, a good day for us. Day to get away from it, and then. Uh, you know, we'll be back to it on Friday. Thank you. Hey there, NBA fans. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe at Fanatics View down below.